Whew, what a crazy few days. Uh, for those who don't know, we just wrapped up our Creator Summit, our first ever, our first inaugural Creator Summit here at 45 Drives. And well, what happened? Let's get into it. All right, so the whole thing started uh, last Wednesday where Mitch and I joined Jeff Solheim at, at uh, Craft Computing and we jumped on his Talking Heads podcast and while well, we talked, uh, we talked about what we were doing here this week, we talked about our new home lab server line, we talked about a couple news articles and we had a couple beers, a couple craft beers. So uh, I was feeling pretty loose by the end of it. So why don't you go check that out if you're interested, but uh, we had a great time. So Jeff, thanks for having us on. The next day, the summit actually officially began and we started off with a tour for everyone and we took them all through 45 Drive's headquarters and it all culminated in the, the lab, the fun spot, right? The part that everyone wanted to see. Well, we gave them a little sneak peek of some of the things we're working on and we gave them a tour through the kind of history of the 45 Drive's products, all the way back to the old backplane Terra store units, through the Rocket 750 direct wire, through to the backplane era through to the new home lab server and even the little store junior that Jeff Gearling helped us work on. So I'm sure you guys probably saw some of that on the on Instagram socials. Um, all our creators were sharing some stuff and uh, well, it was fun. It was, it was fun. They enjoyed it. We enjoyed showing it off. So after the tour, the, the work started. We went up and we, we began the summit where we, we, we talked to each other. We had each creator and industry partner uh, bring a prepared topic and, and something that they wanted to present to us here at 45 Drives. And we gave them a lot of freedom of what they could talk about. So it, to me even, like I knew some headlines, but I was in for a bit of surprise for everyone's talk and they were really, really interesting. So first up, the first one who, who went was uh, Tim Stewart of Techno Tim. Um, Tim talked about uh, using his Storinator in his home lab. He's a software engineer by, by, by day. Um, and uh, he has a nice, beautiful rack at home. He showed it off to us. And he just told us all the good stuff of the Storinator and what, what he loved about it. And he told us some places where he can improve and particularly to serve that home lab market. And he gave us a lot of good insight. And uh, one of the problems he brought, brought up was that he ran out of SSD space. So we got to thinking and my colleague, Mark Cooper, went, went home and re-engineered him and printed him off a little solution to plug his SSDs on it because that's the kind of people we are here. We like to solve problems. But thank you, Tim, for your feedback. We really enjoyed your talk. Next up was Mr. Jeff Gearling, or Red Shirt Jeff. He's a man of many names. Um, Jeff talked to us about, uh, about like the history of 45 Drive's work with creators. And he gave us a lot of insight both in what we could do to, to further our work with creators, both everyone at, this, at, at the summit and others, and um, a lot of feedback too on our own videos and, and the story building and everything about it. It was, it was some great insight that we really valued because Jeff makes awesome stuff. Um, on top of that, we talked about, he, part of his presentation was about, we, we were lucky enough to be part of one of his new videos actually that was released today about is a pigeon faster than the internet. Anyway, I won't spoil anything there, but luckily we got to be a part of that and I got to be a part of that. So that was really cool. So up next was Mr. Alan Nagel, uh, representing from HD Store. Alan Nagel is an industry partner. We've been working with HD Store and Alan for a while now. Alan's an awesome guy. Great insight. Always a pleasure to listen to. And Alan told, talked to everyone about the state of hard drives. A huge deep dive into it. Both where the current tech is, um, where the economics of the industry is and where it's going and where hard drive technology is moving in the future with hammer, heat assisted magnetic recording and uh, really just kind of solidified that yeah NVMe and Flash are here but hard drives aren't going anywhere either. Um, and the big takeaway, spoiler alert, hard drives are going to keep getting bigger. Anyway, thanks Alan, that was awesome. So following Mr. Nagel, Tom Lawrence joined us electronically and Tom kicked off a discussion on um, using clustering and using it in place of ZFS, a massive ZFS arrays, and, and when's the right time. And the room was great. We just had a little freeform discussion on, on the state of Ceph and open source clustering in general. And uh, we had a lot of fun, a lot of engagement by everyone. So thanks, Tom. 
All right, so we kicked off day two with uh, Wendell Wilson of Level One Text giving us a talk about one of the one of the topics that came up a lot was the home lab server and using these servers in the home lab setting and the new 45 drives home lab line of products that are coming out. So Wendell talked about not so much the physical product platform, but more about the utility of it and all of the useful open source tools that are there that you can build your build uh, a home lab server or or just a server for your home that can do anything you need it to do. And uh, it was just a great overview look at all the great tools that are out there and where a lot of the gaps in the market could be and uh, and how that fits in the home lab market. So that was incredibly insightful. Thank you for that, Wendell. Following Wendell, we had Jeff from Craft Computing tell us about the state of the NAS server in the home um, currently right now, the products you can get on the market. And spoiler alert, they all kind of sucked. Um, his words, not mine, but I agree. Uh, and and where, where Wendell took almost the utility and the software side of wh how the home lab server could work, uh, Jeff looked at it more on the physical side of what was missing and, and what you could fit in and price points and stuff like that. So just like Wendell, it was a great overview of what's there, what the gaps are, and again, thank you so much for your ins insightful knowledge. You gave us a bunch of quick little tips, not tips, sorry, uh, threads to follow on changing our thinking of like form factors of plugging stuff in. I know I got, got really excited about a discussion we had about, about different ways to connect hard drives or SSDs to a motherboard without using your standard HBAs and stuff like that, which all spawned from that discussion. So, Jeff, thank you very much. That also was very insightful and helpful. And we closed the summit off, or at least the talk part of the summit, with uh, a talk from our friend Dave Dickerson, who is here representing CIQ. CIQ is a engineering software development and support company that uh, was the first sponsor of Rocky Linux. Their CEO, Greg, Greg Kutzner, um, is the one who originally founded CentOS and then kind of got Rocky off. But I do want to make a point in saying CIQ is not Rocky. Rocky belongs to no one. That's kind of the whole point of it. And that's what he talked about. He talked about the state of Rocky Linux. He talked about Open ELA, Open Enterprise Linux, a new alliance that just started to combat all the shenanigans that Red Hat's pulling in. For those who don't know, there's tons of content out there of what Red Hat's been pulling lately. Colin, uh, Rocky, and everyone associated with them as open source freeloaders. We do not agree. And uh, ultimately, thanks to Abe for coming and giving us that talk and just spending the time with us. It was really insightful, as I've said about everyone else's, but insightful was really the word that I'd use for everyone's talk. So yeah, thank you. Good overview. We appreciated it. So after the talks, we ended the on-site portion of the uh, Creator Summit here at 45 Drives headquarters with a public meet and greet where we had local tech enthusiasts and just fans of our creators um, come and join and, and come say hello, meet, and we also welcomed any of the other Protocase and 45 Drives employees, and well, we had a nice little party. Um, there was plenty of treats and cookies, and I know I ate my fair share, and uh, it, was, it was nice, like a, like a true kind of Nova Scotian party. It just uh, spread out to all aspects of the, of the building. We had people showing off servers and talking. The newspapers came through. There was a bunch of content being filmed. It was really, really fun to be a part of. So, uh, yeah, that was the public meet and greet. And then that ended the uh, kind of the show at the headquarters. And we moved on to our premier event of the weekend. And we took everyone sailing. So, yeah, the big premier event of the weekend is we wanted to show off Nova Scotia, Cape Breton, our home. It's a beautiful place and we're incredibly proud of it. So there's no better way to do that than to get on a sailboat and uh, go sailing on the beautiful Bredore Lakes and um, just take in the surroundings. So um, after the public meet and greet, we went and met down there. We, we jumped on our, our president and co-founder, Doug Milburn's boat, and we sailed the seven seas, but no, not really the seven seas, the inland lakes that are the Bredore. Um, but it was awesome. The weather was great. Everyone had a good time. Um, Techno Tim and I did the, um, did the Hot Ones Challenge. We went toe for toe, putting down hot, spicy wings. Um, it, we both finished, but he won because he carried himself well. I fell apart. I did finish, but I was involuntarily crying at one point. And uh, I don't know if this footage will ever come out. I know Jeff Gearling filmed it all, but I also was swearing like a sailor on there. So I understand if that footage never sees the light of day, but someday I would love to see it because I think it was pretty funny. 
But no, that was fun. We did the Hot Ones Challenge. We went on a we went on a sail. We had a couple beers. We had some good discussions. We went for a swim. Uh, not everyone went went for a swim in the Atlantic Ocean before, so uh, they hopped in and uh, watched the sunset go down, and then that was it. We had a great time. And then we ended the whole summit with a live stream. We did it on the 45 Drives channel. We, uh, we did it on the boat again because we love the boat. And um, yeah, we had everyone on and everyone did a recap of, of, of their talk, of what they learned this weekend, what they enjoyed. And it was a great time. I think we were scheduled for an hour. I think we went for an hour and a half. Uh, thank you to everyone who stuck through that first five minutes of audio because uh, the boat presented itself some technical challenges, but our, uh, our crew figured out. Shout out to Chris McGee and Brandon Graham. You guys are the best. And uh, yeah, that was it. As we were finishing, the storm was storm and rain was blowing in, so it couldn't have been better timing. And uh, that was the weekend. So that's the recap of the Creator Summit. We had a great time here at 45 Drives. I hope all our creators and our industry partners who came in also had a good time. I, unless they lied to my face, they said they had a great time, so it must have been fun. Um, but no, sincerely, I want to thank every one of you guys for coming. This was incredibly fun for us to put on. It was ambitious, but man, we had a lot of fun. Uh, you guys took a lot of time from your families and your day job to come over and to, to hang out with us. And we, we, we couldn't have asked for a better group of people to do it with. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I can't wait to do this again next year. We're going to do it bigger and better. And yeah, it's just going to be awesome. So thanks everyone who participated by watching, by joining us. Just thank you. We had a great time.